Hi everyone, welcome to Blueprint DIY, where we remake our clothes to be just as unique as us. I'm Angelina and this is my super cute model for today, Charlie. Today we're doing a super simple requested video by Elizabeth Gubek. So I have this cute little hoodie that I thrifted, a zipper that I cut from something else, and some ribbing from the bottom of an old sweatshirt. Okay, so first you'll use the seam ripper to carefully remove the hood from the rest of the shirt. I also removed the old fabric from the zipper to get it ready. Now fold the shirt in half and cut it up the middle of the front. Now lay it out and pin the zipper in position. You can fold the edges over and sew the zipper down, or you can just sew it down with the edges raw. The sweatshirt material won't fray, so it's really up to you. Now use your zipper foot and sew the edge to the zipper starting from the bottom and going up. Then pin down the other side. You don't want to skip this step because it won't turn out even if you don't. Trust me, I had to take it apart the first time. Once it's pinned, you can sew down the other side. Now we can open up the zipper and measure the length of the neck hole. At the last minute, I actually decided to use a really stretchy denim for the neck rather than the ribbing. But whichever material you decide to use, cut a length of it a few inches shorter than what you measured and between one and a half and two inches high. Now fold it in half and cut it so there's a gradual taper and a round edge. Now open it up and pin it to the collar beginning with the middle. Now you can sew it down, stretching the collar piece as you sew. I typically begin sewing at the middle to one edge, then go back to the middle and sew to the other edge to make sure both sides are even. Lastly, I fold the excess zipper and sew it down. And I also sew down the collar to make sure it stands up. So that's it, easy peasy. And as you can see, it fits my big boy better. But he doesn't like attention, so he's not a willing model. Charlie, on the other hand, loves attention. So I guess I'll just have to wait for him to grow into it. I hope you guys enjoyed this really simple video. Check out my other beginning upcycling videos here. And if you want to see some more advanced tutorials, click on this bottom playlist. And subscribe right now so you don't miss what we upcycle next. Alright, see you in the next one. Bye!